Hello everyone and welcome to the 8th tutorial in our survival game series done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies and today we are going to take a look at creating terrains and applying textures. So um, generally we'll make it look a lot better, much more exciting and stuff. So let's get started by opening up Unity. I've already done this as usual. And um, the project is exactly as we left it. Um, so um, yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, first of all, we could create a terrain. So to do this, let's get rid of our ground plane. Maybe not delete it, just select it and disable it using this little checkbox right here. Um, so now um, we doesn't we do not have anything to stand on. So let's fix this by going to terrain, create terrain. So um, basically, once you create a terrain, it is gigantic. It's absolutely huge. Probably for nine ninety nine point nine percent of all games, this is too big. So uh, let's go ahead and adjust it to make it smaller. Um, a lot of people people don't know how to do this correctly. So uh, let's just right click and name this. Hmm. You know what? Let's just keep it at terrain for now, and we we can uh, rename it to maybe um, uh, grass hills later or something more specific. Okay, so for now we can go up onto the terrain tab once. Uh, one more time and now hit the set resolution so this is basically um, the length and uh, width and height in units the terrain is going to be and when I say height I mean maximum height so when we, once we start sculpting some of the mountains that's just the limit of how high we can get with the terrain by default this plane right here is at zero units so it's from zero to by default 600 but we are going to change this so um we could start out by trying something like pretty big still uh, 500 by 300 by uh 500 uh, one thing that is very important is that you do not um change the relationship between between uh, width and length they need to be exactly the same let me show you why so if we go ahead and set the resolution and um, hit f so we can see the whole plane you can see that this down here is all light so it's still gigantic um, maybe we should scale it down a little more um, but if i just turn off the lighting in the scene by hitting this little light um, we can get a better look and once I use my uh, go to the right hand and select the sculpting or painting tool, um, you can see that this has a fine um, blue little mark on the plane. And once we start, um, I'll just use the sculpt to demonstrate. We start sculpting, it looks fine. But if I go ahead and change the resolution to let's say 500, 100, even though you might want to do this. Um, you can see that um, the brush itself also get scaled. So um, if you want something to just happen along uh, this kind, uh, maybe you're doing a side scroll and want everything to be seen from the side, so you don't want that much depth, um, just make the terrain, just set the resolution to the same. I think we'll go with 400 by 400 instead. But uh, set the width and length to the same and then just focus on detail here and let the rest be. Um, okay, so we have our huge plane. Let's make sure that this is somewhat centered in the scene um, because by default uh, in Unity, our um, terrain has, um, a, is anchored at the lower corner. So let's go ahead and drag this green box and um, this can just be done by eye or we could type in half of 200, so minus, oh sorry, my, uh, half of 400, so minus 200 and minus 200, um, but <laughs> it won't matter. Alright, so uh, if we zoom in a little, um, I think the first 
thing that we kind of need to do is to create a um, one big tileable texture, a texture, and we can then later on paint details. So um, this will just give us some sort of reference. Uh, it'll make everything easier to see. So um, first off, all let's go to uh, navigate to our browser, and sorry, I was just on YouTube. Um, navigate to a browser, go to Google, and search for anything. This could be um, free ground seamless texture, and seamless means means that it can be tiled without creating these ugly um, kind of edges. Um, so pick anything you want. I'm going to go with some kind of grass. This looks all right. I'm not too convinced though. Um, generally, you don't want something with tileable textures. You don't want one big line through all. Um, they need it needs to be um, like just blurred with all the detail because else you can see it tiling. Um, and you don't want the texture to be too big either. So um, for now. I'll just go with this, I think. No, that's pretty bad. Um, okay, so I'll go with this one. This one looks great. Um, there are some marks that we can probably see when once it's get, it gets tiled, but um, let's save it out as grass texture so one and just simply drag it into Unity. And uh, now we uh, select our terrain and go under the paint tab, the little brush, hit the edit textures and hit add texture. And you can just drag the grass under the texture. And I'll guess that the size needs to be 10 by 10. Um, so this is basically how big each tile is going to be. And uh, let's hit the add button. And you can see that from a distance, it looks horrible. But once we go in on play, uh, it looks much better. It does not contain that much detail though. Um, this looks something that could be played on a web browser. So let's go back and maybe um, change the size down to something like five times five. Remember that each time you scale the number down, um, more tiles need to be created. Uh, though this is not the most important. Uh, the most important is that once you see it from a distance, uh, you can see the pattern start appearing. So um, it's really about finding the right balance. This is, well, it's all right. We'll go with it for now. Um, so once we have this, let's create a uh, better light to light up everything. Uh, because now every uh, object is not white, so it's easier to see how we should light it. Um, so let's go to game object and create other and select the directional light. And this might be a bit too much though. Uh, so we can change the intensity down to 0 0.3. And uh, we can go ahead and select it in our scene. Maybe stirring out the transform if you want. I'll just drag it off a bit. Uh, remember, the thing about directional lights is that it won't matter where it's placed in the scene. Um, it's just uh, it just will matter though how uh, it is rotated. So it's just uh, light emitting from one source. So this is basically the sun emitting from up there. Um, so I'll place the light something like this. So if we go ahead and play. You shouldn't have too many ugly shadows. This looks much better. Um, kind of looks like Gmod, actually. Um, that's a good thing. And um, yeah, so let's hit the stop playing button and uh, disable the light once again in the scene. I just like working this way. Select the terrain and go under the first tab on the right hand side. This is the sculpting and um, and this is basically for creating mountains. Um, if you want a mountain that stops at, at a specific height, you can use the next tab uh, where you can then adjust how high and then create these kind of mountains or um, hills or whatever you want to call them. So um, 
Okay, let's go back under the uh, sculpting. And let's maybe create a um, kind of a bounding box, some kind of the restrictions of the level by creating some, um, some mountains. And notice when I start scaling up and look from the side, um, this part of the terrain doesn't get drawn. This reduces the amount of vertices that needs to be uh, drawn by the graphics card. But um, you also have to be aware that you don't get these ugly glitches. So um, something like this. Again, please go into more uh, detail than, than I do. I'm just trying to show you some of the uh, techniques. Uh, maybe change the brush size up a little bit so we can get some bigger mountains. Um, make it vary. It doesn't need to be this squarey. We can make some mountains and then go out on different sides. Maybe we could have kind of a sea-like area here. A little pool. <laughs> um, so just creating the the bounding box. Something like this. Um, this will do. Maybe even some more detail. So some mountains there. This is what it looks like now in game. Um, this is not too bad, actually. Um, so once you have painted some of these details, um, watch out for doing too much detail the places where the character is running. It can be annoying that uh, he bounces up and down all the time because of, of these little um, the bumps. So please don't do that, only do that the places he isn't at, so maybe at the mountains. You want to select a different kind of brush, uh, something with a lot of detail, and uh, maybe scale the brush size down a bit, and you can get these cool looking mountains. So if I just do this on a part of the mountain and go ahead and hit play, you can see that the mountains look a lot more organic now. But um, go ahead and play around with this. I'll just make a quick, uh, some quick detail around the edge. Well, this might be too much. Um, this is of course harder on the computer than just the ordinary smooth mountains. But um, it does really look cool. So why not? Okay, so um, let's preview this. Wow, this is cool. Okay, so um, this is what I'll go with for now. Uh, what you can then do is you can go under the uh, terrain settings, under uh, the last tab, and you can turn up stuff like the pixel error. So this will in-game affect how many errors um, the terrain allows for. As, uh, on longer distances. So you can see once I get closer, uh, the terrain starts to fix itself, itself up. Um, you generally want to leave this between 5 and 15. Anything above that it just gets mad. So totally squish, squished. So I'll leave this at 9 and the shadow distance won't matter. I wanted to cast shadows and uh, the rest we'll play with later. One thing that can affect how heavy the terrain is on your computer is if you go under set resolution, then the base texture resolution will do quite a bit. So play around with that. Uh, also remember to only use, so only use uh, numbers that can be divided by two. Um, so this um, would be 512 or, um, 128, 64, 32 um, numbers in, in that order. Please do that. Uh, 250, no, 265, no, 56, and, um, and so on and so forth. Um, so, okay. Let's, um, let's go ahead and continue. So let's paint on some detail. So if we again select the terrain and the terrain script, I had that collapsed. And then uh, go ahead and hit the paint tab. We can add a new texture. So let's go, go online and find a new texture. Um, so something free, 
stone texture seamless or tileable. Um, you can probably type in both. Oh, wow, that's a that's really nice. That one. Um, let's see how it looks in game. So save that out and drag it to Unity. And we'll rename this to stone texture. So one. And we'll go back to our terrain. Edit textures, add texture, drag in the stone texture, select probably um, 10 to 5. Um, remember things that are in the distance, as mountains generally are. Um, don't bother giving them too much detail. So now you can see that we have yet another texture that we can select. So we uh, can select this and then just start painting over the mountains with this. So watch out for the smoother transitions. You generally want this to be pretty harsh, um, else it can look really weird. But play around with this again. I'm just demonstrating how to use the different tools. Um, oh, <laughs> made a mistake there. So something like this. Think that's all right. So we go ahead and play it back. You can see that it actually starts looking like something that could be in real life, except that maybe. So let's go ahead and fix this. It's the side here. Oh, so I had make sure that you select the stone texture, paint out some detail. If you just want small layers of stone. Uh, not the very harsh ones. You can go ahead and bring down the opacity. Um, this is basically how much you can see through the texture. Um, also, you could do stuff like this to create even more detail. I won't bother. So this looks um, pretty good. Yeah, it looks fine. So uh, you could go ahead and import some more grass textures, some more ground textures to vary it up. And um, maybe even uh, we'll, I, I guess we'll take a look at creating some uh, trees and some, some moving grass and stuff like this uh, in another tutorial. But for now, this is how our world is going to look. I'm afraid that I did not uh, cover the um, material and texture applyment to objects. We'll do this in a, another tutorial as well. Uh, and weapon switching, it's on its way. Also, um, the anime scripting that will also come out. Uh, I have no idea how I can get time enough to do all of this. But uh, guys, I Bracky's site is up, brackies.com. You can go ahead and download everything. And very soon, um, a uh, downloadable raw file, I think, is going to be available with all the scripts that I type out and the assets that I create, so you don't have to go ahead and model them out. Um, and for now, they're free. I have added a uh, donate button, so if you like what we do and think that you want to uh, just give something back, you, uh, you can decide exactly how much it needs to be. Um, It'll just go for this, for sound, sound, um, sound stuff, um, video making tools, uh, Unity plugins that I could cover, and uh, maybe even doing some things in Unity Pro if I can, uh, can get my hands on that much. But um, you really don't have to, it's just if you want to. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.